On the land of Israel today, there are mainly two um, sections of people. One, of course, is the Jewish people that lives here. And the second is the Palestinians that lives here. We must understand that this argument is much more ancient and deep and spiritual than uh, we understand even though that it seems to us like we're talking only on a story of um, 150 years since the first uh, new settlers came back to the promised land of Israel even though that this is how it seems you must understand that first of all of course there is no question about the real true promise of God to to us, to his children, to the people of Israel, to the Jewish people, to the holy holy souls that for years and for generations craving and missing and yearning and hoping for the great salvation um, of the return of the tribe of Yehuda, of Judah and of course the returns of all the holy tribes back to their land, to our land. There is no doubt about that. The only thing is the respectful existence of the Palestinian nation on the land of Israel. And why am I saying that? Because I find that there are literally millions of Palestinian people who are very honest and very truthful and very nice and very kind and they does not have any problem with the fact that the people of Israel are coming back to their home land to the promised land that was promised by God by the Creator that we all believe in to our father to our mutual father as well to Abraham the problem is with a certain small section of people who are not accepting the birthright of the Jewish and Israeli people to live on their homeland. And that minor public is a public that just will have to surrender to the power of Hashem for keeping his promise but to all the rest of the wonderful people who lives here I think that the days will show us all that in reality there is a great secret and a great purpose for us all living together on the same land I think that the souls of the Palestinians are also um, ancient and also attached to the roots of this land. My opinion is that one day we will understand when the secret of the holy tribes of Israel will come out to the light, I think that we will all be very, very surprised to see that there are many, many, many millions of people that today cannot find their connection and their attachment to the tribe of Yehuda. But in the future to come, we will understand that the root of that problem is only because of the great separation that took place around um, 2,800 years ago in the separation between the kingship of Yehuda, kingship of King David, and the kingship of Israel with the ten lost tribes. And I think that when the ten lost tribes' awareness will grow and rise, we will find more and more roots to lost tribes. And I assume that some of the tribes that been exiled by the Assyrian king to the area of Syria and to the area of Africa stayed in this area and a very big population 
of Muslims, so-called Arabs today in Arabic lands that surrounds us, like Egypt, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, huge populations over there are actually lost tribes of Israelis, of tribes of Jacob, of children of Jacob. And even though that they converted to Islam, I think that inside of them there is a great love to the nation of Israel and great love to the land of Israel and to the Torah. And even though that they hold themselves today as Ishmaelim, they're not really Ishmaelim. And some big portion of them are really Israeli souls that are still disconnected from their source of true being and essence of their lives.